folks. This is Todd Coburn with your Aerospace Structure Series. This video is on how to figure stresses, whether they're positive or negative. I found that students really struggle with this concept. If we're talking about a axial force, let's say we have a cross section. Let's say we have a cross section of a part. And if we have a force acting on it, that provides us a stress P over A. Most students don't mess that up. You got a force, it's a vector. You can use your right finger. It's pointing in the direction of the force. That force is normal to the area. It's called a normal force. If it's parallel to the area, it's called a shear force. If it's direct shear, it's just P over A, shear stress. If it is a bending or one that doesn't have a really short line of action, it's gonna have a VQ over IT distribution of stress. So if your finger is touching, if your fingertip touches the page, it's compression. If your knuckle touches the page, it's tension. Pretty simple. Most people nail that. The place where they bugger this up is when we're talking about moments. And I'm appalled at how many students are messing that up. And when you get into industry, there's nothing magic that happens. Whatever weaknesses you had will carry forward and do all of your work. So let's talk about a moment. A moment is governed by the right hand rule. You're going to stuff your thumb down the arrowhead of the moment and your fingers are gonna talk about the action of the moment. Now remember with a axial force, if your fingertip touches the section, it's compression. If your knuckle touches the section, it's tension. Same thing holds for a moment. Let's say we have a horizontal moment acting in the negative X, positive beam bending sign convention. If we run our moment like that, we have our thumb running down the arrowhead of the moment, you'll see that our fingertips are touching the page. Let's go ahead and augment this. Let's say we had a I section, for example, and we have a horizontal moment. If that were the case, we would stuff our thumb down the arrowhead we find that our fingertips are touching the page on the upper surface, which means the upper surface is compression. Let me say that again. So if you stuff your thumb down the arrowhead, you'll notice your fingers, your fingertips are touching the top of the page. The top of the page is in compression. If you rotate this around, you see your knuckles are pulling from the bottom of the page. So the bottom of the page is intention. You can also think of your palm pulling from the page as an alternate for your knuckle. Pulling from the page on the bottom tension, pressing on the top of the page with your fingertips, compression. Got it? But to stick with that whole fingertip knuckle idea, you could say the knuckles are pulling away and the fingertips are touching. They're pulling away from the bottom, touching the top. If we had a moment like this, then our fingertips are touching. The left, the uh, this side is in compression and this other side is in tension. If we have two moments, let's say we have a horizontal moment, that's compression on the top and a vertical moment, that's compression on that edge. Then a point here will have compression, compression for the two stresses. Point down here will have tension and Tension. A point over here will have tension, compression, fingertips, knuckle or palm, compression, tension, compression, tension. Got it? Critical. Enjoy.